Hey baby girls, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? I hope everyone is doing super, super well. Welcome to another video. And in this case, we're going to be working with our very first spring set. So we're going to begin with our bombshell, heavenly, and banana pudding. We're also going to be using number 16 Kalinsky brush and snow bomb, which I forgot to mention, which was at the beginning because this video is going super, super fast and our 3xl square tips so let's begin so you guys um i hope you guys had been having a very wonderful week i have been a little mia yes i know i'm sorry but don't worry i'm back i'm back i've been very very busy to be quite honest you guys there's been just so many things happening i do have videos i've been recording but i just haven't had the chance to actually sit down and you know edit the video do voiceover and upload people think that being a content creator it's easy it's like oh you just sit down and you just create something and post it no you guys like there is a lot to it there is a lot behind being a content creator and it's not only that you guys like we also have regular lives many of us have regular jobs well i don't i don't okay i don't have a regular job but i'm a stay-at-home mom with a small business so that would be my regular job um <clears throat> but yeah you guys like it's just hard you know what i mean but don't worry you guys we're here and i really hope you guys like this video so let's get moving and let me kind of explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing so we're gonna be using banana pudding i'm still not sure okay you guys let me just kind of tell you what's up with like the spring collection the nudes you've been a little like okay gabby what's going on what's gonna be dropping when is everything gonna be dropping like yeah i know i haven't been posting nothing you guys i've been um checking the tracking number to our spring collection and it's still like it's not even giving me a day you know what i mean like a date um so i don't know if it's gonna be getting here tomorrow on the next week or in two weeks hopefully i'm being very hopeful you guys that by the end of february and towards the beginning of march everything will be here and we'll be able to you know release them but as for now i cannot tell you an official day that is why i'm deciding i do have <clears throat> <clears throat> some of the acrylics from last year and it's just very small quantities you guys i may have maybe like five of one color two of one color literally i'm not kidding you guys so i might just put them on the website and whoever snatches them snatches them from last year's spring collection for example banana pudding um peaches and cream matcha lot no i think it was just matcha um and then i think it's called baby boy or i don't remember the blue one and then the teal which is meant to be i do have <clears throat> you know like i mentioned some of them you guys okay i literally don't have a lot it's literally like limited quantities of every color i might even have like maybe the most i have i think it's from the pink one i can't recall the name right now but um i think that one i have like more of it but i might put them on the website you guys because i know that a lot of you didn't get the chance to get them last year um so whatever's left i'll put them up on the website and you'll be able to snatch them okay and i'll i'll keep you posted on that i'll put it here on the community tab on youtube just in case you guys don't have social media because usually i just post everything up on my instagram and i've noticed that not a lot not a lot of you have instagram so i'm gonna post it on instagram and i'm gonna post it of course here on the community tab on youtube so um you guys are able to see when okay so or what's going on <laughs> so yeah baby girls i went ahead and added banana pudding on the what's it called the thumb i went ahead and applied it there um and then on the here on the index nail we're gonna be doing ombres okay so here on the index nail i'm gonna be doing a baby boomer 
so i know it's kind of weird it's kind of com not complicated but it's just weird that it's pretty much the same process but this is called a baby boomer just because you're using white and a nude um when you're using a colored acrylic it's called an ombre because you're just ombre two colors together now here this is called a baby boomer um so we're gonna be doing a baby boomer <laughs> here on the index nail using snow bomb and I'm gonna go ahead and try to drag my first bead all the way down towards the tip as you guys saw um, and then you know just try to work my way up towards like towards the uh, around where we glue on I guess the apex area that's where we glue on our false tip to our natural tip that's where I kind of just stop um, even if it's a baby boomer or if it's just an ombre with a regular color um, that's where I usually stop and, um, around the apex area and then I just kind of blend up toward towards the cuticle area the color so that I won't have a hard time um, trying to ombre the color or the nude with the color you know what I mean because sometimes that uh, line it's a little visible and you don't want that you want a seamless ombre you want a seamless um a transition from one color to the other or from the nude to the color or the nude to the white you know what i mean i hope i'm making sense you guys but yeah i'm also very 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 excited you guys because guess what i've announced this i think oh i i think i announced it on my instagram and here on my youtube community that bombshell is coming back bombshell is officially coming back one color that i thought it was never gonna make it back it's coming back you guys i'm so excited because this is one of my favorite pinky like nudes it's very very beautiful you guys um so far we have three we have um bubblicious pink we have blossom pink which blossom pink is beautiful as well for um spring designs and all it's it's just beautiful and then now bombshell is back well it's gonna be back in stock not yet but it's gonna be back in stock you guys in two ounces okay no four ounces just two ounces i'm just so very 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 happy that my supplier you know was able to color match it and uh, i would i was always like sending her swatches like no it has to be more like this it has to be more like that it's not exactly you guys it's not like exactly um but i think we you know it, it's very 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 close you guys i am sure we kind of hit the spot with a 99.9 that it really looks like bombshell you guys so i i'm just so excited i love bombshell even though it's more like a translucent pink i love bombshell um if you want more of like a deeper pink then we do have blossom pink and we also have bubblicious pink but this is more like a translucent pink and it's beautiful it's gorgeous i love it but yeah you guys of course i'll keep you guys posted on you know the drop and all like i mentioned before so don't worry about that um so we're gonna be doing ombres like i mentioned all around up and down in this video i feel like ombres are just beautiful you guys ombres are just it like ombres you can never go wrong with an ombre and if you're a beginner and you're still struggling with an ombre that's maybe because you are not um fading like the wherever your color ended like i mentioned um previously that you're so you're not supposed to do it because i've seen a lot of texts that don't really do it but honestly the way that i'm doing it here and this is literally how i do it all the time you guys my ombres i just like to just fade those harsh edges and it just makes it 10 times easier so try that if you're still having complications with the transition between colors and i promise you it's gonna be a lot easier uh so yeah baby girls as you guys can see here i'm just going in with my bombshell pink just so that i can of course do the little ombre and it looks beautiful you guys i just when it's spring i love yellow and pink and during summer i love to do combos of um neon yellow and neon pink i don't know you guys there's just something about those two colors that i love them together and yeah do you guys have like any color combos that you love tell me down in the comment section you guys 
what color combos you love because honestly these are like my two favorite also i feel like green and pink go together like it, it's just beautiful you guys they look gorgeous together as well so let me know what are your favorite color combos i want to know so after we're completely done with the pinky of course i'm gonna be moving back to my index nail or the baby boomer i know it's so weird huh you guys it's just so weird how you know this is not an ombre this is a baby boomer just because it has white i don't know you guys it's i don't know <laughs> to me it's an ombre to be honest it's another ombre but yeah how many times have i said ombre in this video oh my god i've said it like a hundred times but anyway you guys um i was scrolling through peacock last time um if you guys have uh that app uh peacock i love to you know to go through like different apps to see what you know what there's if there's any like cool series and or documentaries that i could watch because i love watching documentaries and um i came across the one from yolanda salivar oh my god you guys i i had actually heard something about it on tiktok that she was coming out with her like her own she just wanted to tell her side of the story and you know stuff like that and to me in my head i'm just like this i don't even want to say it here but this girl like for real like for real like oh my god you guys i don't even know what to say because she just boils my blood and you know i haven't finished watching it which i think i'm gonna after this video after i'm done editing and doing voiceover and uploading and all um i need to do like some deep cleaning around my house so i'm gonna i'm gonna watch that and i need to see what she's got to say i mean i'm gonna be honest you guys i stand 100 percent by selena's side you know what i mean because at the end of the day whatever it was you still did it girl like you still did that you still shot her you still did that you know what i mean and um the fact that you did it and you hurt thousands and hundreds you know hundred thousands of fans it's just like i feel like anything that she says won't even convince nobody nowadays um it's just it's so sad you guys how years after she decides to say her part of the story like it don't even make sense to be honest it's stupid it's petty i feel like she just wants attention maybe she's even scared of the fans now that she might be getting out on parole um maybe it could be that you know i don't know you guys i really don't know what to say have you guys watched it what are your thoughts what do you guys think of that because honestly to me it's just so 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 petty of her to even do that even to her family you know what i mean just keep to me i feel like it just keeps opening like old wounds you know what i mean that maybe sometimes you were you had already closed as family you know what i mean like as as a family member like i'm not a family member obviously but <laughs> I'm saying like her her family maybe you know they already closed that wound you know and for her to kind of reopen it again it's kind of like girl for real like you just being petty af like no but yeah you guys let me know have you why have you guys watched it what do you guys think your thoughts I'm mad actually I yes I am watching it because honestly like me encanta el chisme like I just wait a she's mad you know what i mean like what does this b has to say like let me just freaking hear you because ain't nobody gonna talk shit about my selena you know what i mean so yeah like it's just petty to me but let me know let me know you guys anyway going back to the design so i went ahead and did a french guys oh my god when i was using um let me just tell you bombshell does set a little faster i'm gonna be honest i had to be and my room temperature like that day was around 68 ish around there and you know it was a good temperature um and it was drying a little fast on me so i will tell you you guys that it it will 
uh, dry a little faster on you. So I did a little Frenchie there and it came out bomb AF. I was like so surprised. I'm like, girl, you did that. The first try, you did it. So <laughs> I was happy. I was very happy. <laughs> but anyway, um, now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of foil gel. This is from an old company that I used to work with a long time ago um and that's the only one i have you guys i that's the that's the one i've been using lately and i feel so uh, like why are you using this but that's the only one i have right now you guys i think i need to buy one from amazon or maybe i need to get my hands on my supplier so she can send me some for bomb nails um but yeah anyway so i went ahead and cure that under the lamp for about a full minute you need to make sure that your foil gel is cured like fully if it's not cured fully it's like your foil it's not gonna stick to the gel so i went ahead and um you know after it's cured i went ahead and placed the foil and now i'm gonna go ahead and place just a small tiny layer of gel this is more like a like for the gelix um system or press on or whatever but i do use it like for things like this so i went ahead i didn't want to use acrylic because i knew i was gonna ruin the whole foil with the monomer so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna use gel and it works beautiful you guys it worked it just worked beautiful and i'm gonna tell you why first of all like of course you're able to stick your little butterflies on there or whatever little charms you're gonna go ahead and apply and it'll stick to it second of all i don't have to go back in with like a top coat or a matte top coat to protect the foil from the monomer so i think i hit like two and one which was awesome and yeah you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and stick my little butterflies on here and then um these butterflies you guys i don't even remember oh yes i know where i got them from and that was like five years ago like straight up five years ago um and it was from nails blinged blinged nails something like that on instagram and um i still have a lot of those so i use them every year you guys i use them every year throughout spring throughout summer i just love them so i'm gonna go ahead and just cap everything i only left one nail you guys because obviously like it's just too much and it gets very repetitive i don't want to bore you guys with the same old same old so i'm only gonna be doing one nail and i left the hardest one which is a frenchie because that's the one that always comes out the bulkiest maybe it's because my frenchies are very very thick <laughs> but we're you know there's always a file don't worry um and i forgot to mention you guys that i also did like the little peekaboo um what's it called cuticle like the peekaboo cuticle that i usually do and that's why i used heavenly if you guys don't have heavenly i might put it back on the website um because i have a little bit of stock in it i was waiting for my like for new glitter because i have like a lot of stuff coming in you guys and a lot of inventory for the website but i think i do have a few left of heavenly so i might put it back on the website just in case you guys want it um so yeah baby girls i'm gonna go ahead and use my monomer which will be releasing soon as well i cannot wait for you guys to use that monomer you guys i'm sure you guys are gonna love it this monomer smells freaking good it smells really really good and then i'm also using my crystal clear acrylic i think this one is sold out currently but um yes i hope it's i think it'll be coming back um or restocking when the spring collection is here when the monomer is releasing and all i'll keep you guys posted on everything on everything it's just too much right now you guys and yeah <laughs> so i don't know what the heck i was doing there but oh yeah <laughs> okay baby girl so i'll leave you guys to it and then um i think i'm gonna go ahead and file and then i'll be back
Okay, yeah, so I did went ahead and leave the filing um, process of it all here. So I'm going to start off with my 8080 nail grid file, which are available on the website. These are amazing, you guys. If you guys haven't tried these 8080 nail grid files, I don't know what you're waiting for. They last forever. I'm telling you, they last forever. They're very sturdy. They're 8080 grid files. Like, if you really want a snatched stiletto or a snatched um coffin or a snatched square tip these are it you guys like these are it they, they're bomb af what do you want me to tell you they're really really good you guys so now i'm gonna go in with my fine drill bit this is available on the website as well and i'm gonna go ahead and just um seal that cuticle remove any lumps and bumps that i might have left behind pretty much debulking it making it snatched making it very very like squared and very nice looking as you guys can see here and that's pretty much it that's pretty much what i do you guys i do like to take it along the sidewalls just to further shape the the squared shape um and then i i'm also gonna go ahead and do like a little moon shape at the tip of the nail um i've been finding that i like that <laughs> i like that i remember last year when you know all this i think it was last year or the year before but i don't remember when exactly when this came out you guys with the with you know i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna tell you what when this uh, moon shape came out, is it's been years, you guys. I'm talking about 2000, maybe 13, maybe even 14, when I would watch Shio Lovey's Nails here on YouTube. She doesn't really post anymore, you guys. She tried to be a little more consistent in the past few months, but I, I, I something happened i think she's sick or something and that's why she is not posting anymore but i loved her content you guys i remember i was obsessed with her nail channel this you know i think i don't know you guys she was just amazing but um she used to do that she used to do what do that with her nails and she would do the moon shape and i'm talking about what 10 years ago 12 years ago this was a long time ago and it recently started coming out again and i never liked it i really really never liked it um until recently i started doing like this little trick where i um file my nails with the little container with the little um acrylic container and i do like this little angle where it gives me like that little moon shape and i'm like girl it's easier and it looks good so i started doing it i'm not doing it like way too deep you know what i mean i like it a little subtle but it looks good i love it i actually love it so i'm gonna continue to do that you guys and this is what they look like after they've been nicely filed and shaped so now i'm gonna go in with a little bit of butterflies a little bit of flowers just a little bit of bling and that's pretty much it <laughs> so we're gonna go in with our little butterfly first now um i didn't really quite liked the way those little tiny flowers were looking and i decided to cut that part off um here because you're gonna see me later on just add some bigger ones and a little bit more bling because i don't know you guys i just thought it looked a little weird so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing to the index nail and then on the pinky and thumb we're gonna be adding uh, some little crystals here because we're gonna be doing a little bit of 3d it's not gonna be like a lot of 3d but we're gonna be doing like two little flowers um so i'm gonna begin with snow bomb and banana pudding so i'm gonna be doing a two-tone flower here by the way now at this point my room was getting very very cold you guys so uh, these flowers were giving me hell you guys like i was having so much problems trying to achieve these little flowers um i don't have acetone at the moment so it was just making it harder for me because it the bead wouldn't dry you know what i mean it wouldn't oh it was just so annoying you guys but i managed to do them either way and they turned out cute i guess so what i do you guys is i go ahead and just place two beads at a time so that um 
when I go ahead and place the second one, the first one is you know somewhat settled already you know what i mean in order for me to kind of maneuver it around and kind of shape it into a little petal um so you're gonna be seeing me here kind of struggle <laughs> but again i managed to get through them you guys and i pick up like the way i pick up my bead for a two-tone flower even for a three or four tone flower you just pretty much um pick up the lightest shade first if you want and then you go deeper into it you know what i mean but in this case i picked up the white first and then i picked up the yellow so i'm gonna go ahead and do these little flowers we using my 3d brush from bomb nails and um, i'm gonna also do them on the thumb as i mentioned Okay, so I wasn't really sure what I wanted here on the middle nail. I knew I wanted like bling, but I wasn't sure how much bling or what kind of bling. So I just went in with a little bit of bling. And to me, that's a little bit of bling, but maybe to many of you, it's going to be a lot. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just went ahead and placed some little shapes, some little AB um serenity crystals here and there and that's pretty much it by the way i am using my big bondini glue this is my favorite glue to use you guys i even glue my nail tips with it um i use it with my sister i use it with my mom i've never had issues with it i actually do love it a lot um so if you guys want to try it it's available on amazon that's where i purchased mine so I'm going to go ahead and just start by adhering all these little shapes and sizes and you know what I mean. I feel like it kind of ruined the Frenchie some way, somehow. But at the end, I feel it, it looks good. It looks, it looks, I, you know what I mean? It looks, it looks, it looks all right. So yeah, um, it, these are just ideas for me to you guys. You guys can just pick and choose what you like. And if you guys don't like something, then you just remove it and add something of your own make it yours you know what i mean so this is what i mean you guys i went ahead and added some bigger flowers because those tiny ones were like come on gabby like no <laughs> it needs bigger go bigger go home you guys know everything is bigger in texas so we needed some big flowers there so 
I went ahead and added some pink ones and then I went ahead and added some yellow ones and then I think I also added some rhinestones just to top it off. So moving along to my ring finger, I was not too sure what I wanted on there. I wanted bling, but then I didn't want bling. I felt like it was just going to ruin everything. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to outline the sides of it, of the nail, of the actual nail, um, and just make a sugar effect on there. And that's what I did. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and use my shiny top coat because I didn't want them matte. I wanted them to be shiny. Um, so I went ahead and top coated it and then cured it under the lamp for about 60 seconds once it came out of the lamp. Now I'm going to go in with my yellow uh, spring gel color which is available on the website. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase them, those are still available on the website. Our gel polishes are still available on there so go ahead and purchase yours. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use also my 20mm liner brush to create these little lines. It's kind of like a V French but not really if that makes sense um, because I'm not going to go ahead and close them together. I'm sure you guys can see here what I'm doing. Um, it Sometimes it's just you know i cannot explain what i'm doing but you guys can see what i'm doing here and i went ahead and did this again with my gel polish the yellow one the pastel yellow or the pastel collection whatever and then <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of glitter on top of that and cure that under the lamp And of course, to top everything off, I'm going to be using my shiny top coat just to top coat everything. By the way, um, we do not have the diamond top coat available anymore. I'm not too sure. Maybe in the near future, I'll bring it back. But as for now, this is going to be the one um, for bomb nails. I love this one, you guys. I don't even think I will go back to the diamond top coat. I prefer this one, to be honest. Um, but you guys, let me know your thoughts. You know, the diamond, the diamond top coat is more like a looser consistency it's a lot more loose than this one this is a bit more thicker and this is what i love for example on myself because i do myself like i do my nails on my right hand and then i also do my sisters and my mom sometimes my cousins so i like that this one lasts a lot you guys like when they come back in for a new set or a refill their nails are looking extra shiny still so I'm just obsessed with it. I'm just really, really obsessed with it. And I mean, come on, the size of it, 18 mLs. I mean, come on, who has that? Only bomb nails, only bomb nails. I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and top everything off, you guys. I cure that under the lamp for about another 60 seconds. Once it comes out, I will go ahead and add my cuticle oil on it because you don't want your nails looking all crusty, dusty. And this is the end result. I really hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love and support. 
it just means everything to me honestly i know i say this on every single video i know but it truly 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 i truly mean it i truly from the bottom of my heart i mean it so again baby girls thank you for being here i'll see you here on the next one i'll catch you here on the next one um stay safe god bless and bye bye